Hi everyone and welcome to back to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and we're talking about what do we do now that we've moved on what do we do now with the face of the club if we can successfully get the club back and into this position right here so again we're trying to feel like our, our hands got a little cup in it you start to feel how the face looks you know a little bit more a little bit more down than you're than you're probably used to that is actually square because it matches my spine angle in my in my arm this arm is lining up with the shaft so I can just run the face right into the ball so again what we talked about in part one is how to get there okay so how do we since we're there now what do we do with that you know since we've gotten the, the face of the club where we want it to make sense of it what do we do on this side of it so once we got the face here okay now it needs to happen I mean, pretty much all the work is done. Now it needs to happen because your left hip has already started to turn out of the way. This left hip keeps moving, turning, turning. It turns the face right into the golf ball. And then as that turns left, see now the club releases, I release is a bad term, but now the club starts to go left and it's 90 degrees up the swing arc. So the old days of trying to hit it, you know, way from the inside and way out to the first base. Now, if you're coming, drastically over the top uh, you know that that might be okay but the swing the whole swing in itself is an arc so I'm swinging on this arc and this golf club is working 90 degrees to that arc okay so when you swing down what you're trying to feel now once I get it right into here is this again this left hip keeps pushing away which is going to accelerate the club and now I can keep the face of the club moving okay so many of us get right here and we start to swing down and your body stalls out and what happens with that is that if my body stalls out the face of the club is going to go right down the target line and momentum is going to turn this face over if we get the club here that face is square we don't need to turn this face over if we do it will hook if you turn over a square face the ball will go left so that's why you want to feel like you get into this position your left hip keeps going out of the way and so the club goes up the arc in 90 degrees to that arc so you can really feel like you can accelerate the club so from face on I get it right here so you can see my left hips already turned out of the way as it keeps turning out of the way I get into impact and the face of the club works left and the face goes up and it's 90 degrees again if I swing swing back and I get here and this and my body stops and I keep swinging the face of the club is going to turn over and that's where we'll hook it and I think that's where some of us have got into where if we get get the the face in the right position and it keeps hooking on you that's why we've got obviously part two your body has to keep moving we've got these swing circles that are working around us okay so just like we have a the swing circle that's working with the face your body is also working on its own circle okay if this circle stops it's going to contaminate the outside circle or the golf club circle so everything it's a it's kind of a breathing moving thing now again we have to like i said we're talking about positions but all this is created in motion all these positions are created in motion so to make some to make some swings and to feel that what I'd have you do is swing the club back, get ready to go, and just make some swings here and start to feel how when I get down here, I start to feel my left hip get out of the way and the face work left and stay 90 degrees. So my hand works from down to, to end impact. I almost feel like it's, it's underneath here. So if I were to make some swings, just some little swings. So again, I establish this, what this face feels like over here. It goes back and I start left. So going back, left, back, left. So my body keeps moving, so I keep the face stable. My left hip stabilizes the face of the club. Okay, so it goes back, left. So once I get here and this left hip keeps turning, that's what stabilizes the face of the club. So again, tee another one up. So again, you start to feel your right arm go back hit and keep going left so my hand keeps feeling like it's going left now we'll go a little bit a little bit bigger here 
So go back, left. So you start to feel how you're coming, in, coming into the ball with the face here. My left hip turns out of the way. And my arms go left. And the face of the club keeps working. So again, a little, little bit bigger one here. So the face of the club keeps working up the plane line. Now, a drill that you can do to feel that is left foot back. So we're gonna take our left foot and take it back here. So I'm gonna take the club face about right here and turn my left hip out of the way and feel how my hand and the club face goes left. So left foot back. We're only taking it about right here. Um, and when you do this, you're gonna feel like it's a little more inside than your usual because again, this is hard for this hip to get out of the way. So when you swing back, it's a little more inside because so we can simulate what the face is doing on the way down. So again, up above, this is back and this left hip starts to get out of the way. Here comes the face into the ball. Left hip keeps turning. The handle goes left and the face of the club is stabilized. It's not twisting over. Again, it's just 90 degrees. So again, just a little one here. So the face of the club keeps moving left. We'll do one more. Okay, left foot back. Got my hands on it right. I start to feel how the face is square coming in. Hip gets out of the way and my, the face of the club keeps going left. The grip end starts to go left. So my hand feels very, very stable. So the other thing that I would be, I would be cautious about when speed training. Do we want speed? We all want to hit it farther. We all want to hit it straighter. I'm all for speed. The problem becomes is that if we are coming into the ball with the face open, right? And our body has to stall, stall out and the face has to come up and try to catch up and square and then it's turning over on this side of the, on this side of the ball after impact. If with that much face rotation, be careful of, of what you're doing with speed. So yes, I want you to have speed. I want you to have a lot of speed. But I, to add speed safely, the face of the golf club has to be stable. It has to be working, uh, you know, 90 degrees to the to the swing arc, or you have to be in a situation where that face is is under control. The more speed you add, and if you have timing elements, uh, you know, it could be disaster. So if you're trying to add speed and the ball keeps going further left and further right. Make sure that the face is under control. This is one of the best ways to add speed is to make sure that the face is here and moving through. And so once you get there and you start adding speed, you can swing as fast as you want and the ball's not gonna go offline. It's when we have the face going everywhere. So again, we'll make a, make a, a number, num, another normal swing and feel how the face gets out into this position here and my left hip keeps turning. So again, we're trying to put all this in, in motion. So you're starting to feel what the face is doing and how your body is reacting to make sure that the face is stable and it keeps moving. Okay, so we hit one more. So again, we've got our left foot back drill. And you you've also are trying to feel that again, that the face is back and square and that left hip starts to get out of the way and the face goes left and your right hand keeps working straight underneath. So again, we'll do one more. So with part two, once we get the face where we want it, we keep this left hip turning, 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 so it stabilizes the face through the, through the strike. So, and your hand keeps working underneath. So, into this position, left hip keeps turning out of the way, and the face is starting to release up that plane line, instead of body stalling out and then catching the face up. So, I hope this gives you a, a bigger picture of, A, what we want the face to be doing on the swing arc or during the 
during the swing. How that matches what you're trying to do with your grip. And then how that matches what you're trying to do with your body. So everything stays in swing. Again, it's all about the club face and what it's doing. So I hope this helps and you're, and you're playing uh, you know, your best scores and you're playing your best by getting that face a little bit more stable and understanding what you're trying to do with the golf club. Hi everyone, like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf, for all tips on golf. If you'd like a live lesson or want to send me a message, visit me at billyfitzgeraldgolf.com.